Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is going to be part two of art journaling for beginners, beginners in art journaling, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is going to be another way to start your art journaling. And I'm trying to put in there different ways people do art journal. Now, we did this yesterday. I will put the video here. I'm going to write down the time so I remember because I'm trying to be more on point lately. All right, so let's say 22 seconds. Okay, so click that link uh, and it'll take you to that video if you want to see it. And I will also put it down below in the description so you can go there and click it and go see it. So this is what we did first. Very basic, nothing major uh, to do. And, um, so now I'm going to use the back and what we're going to do is we're going to use it. You can see here, this was for journaling, very basic where, you know, you kind of draw on your lines, you journal how you want, you do your background and that's great. This is going to be what I call negative to positive journaling, uh, art journal page. Um, and what that means is you're going to use this as your journaling, um, writing down negative things. Like for instance, I'm a Wiccan, pagan, pagan Wiccan, whatever way you want to say it. And what I like to do is I like to write down things that I want to banish, get rid of, change, negativity, energy, negative energy. I like to write it on a piece of paper. I like to fold it. I like to burn it. And then I like to blow it into the wind, into the uh, nature, into nature and whatnot to dispel it, get rid of it and let it go. And so what we're going to do, because I know a lot of you are not Wiccan and Pagan, and even though that's not a very, uh, Wic I mean, it is a Wiccan Pagan thing to do, but I mean, it's not nothing that will uh, change your belief system or religion. If you try it, I recommend it. I say, save one of your coffee cans. Anyway, that'll be another video. If you guys want me to talk about that, um, I will go over to my Wiccan channel and do that. I, I get a lot of requests for that. Um, I've mentioned it quite a few times. Maybe I'll just do a video on it. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> um, I got, I'm, I'm on my cold medicine, so I'm kind of like hyped up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, a pencil or a pen or whatever you have, and we're going to start out something uh, writing. Now, again, use whatever you have, but let's say, um, let's say you're having a bad day. Let's say somebody was mean to you. Let's say you're not feeling good. Let's say you and your husband are fighting. Let's say you and your kids are fighting. Let's say you and your significant other are fighting, uh, or, bills, money. I mean, I'm talking anything that you want to vent. So you're going to use this as your journal and what you'll do. And I'm just going to write, uh, you know, you can write as small and as much as you want. Maybe you and your significant other broke up. Maybe, um, I don't know. You, you, you dig what I'm saying. So for me, I'm going to say I am so miserable. <laughs> I am so zing. I want to feel better. Uh, you could put my feelings got hurt when, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You get what I'm saying? And you just keep writing whatever it is. I stubbed my toe. I fell down the steps. I accidentally put a color in the wash with white, uh, laundry, you know, I burnt the toast. You, you see what I'm saying? And these are all, you just journal your heart out, journal your feelings, journal any little thing, because I'm going to tell you doing it like this. And what we're going to do next is very therapeutic in the sense of you get it out. Sometimes we don't like to talk to other people. Sometimes we keep a lot in, it can uh, trigger us to be even more ill. It can make us with ulcers, you know, <laughs> bad stomach pains. It can give you a migraine. It can make you stressed out. So, and people get embarrassed to talk to others about it, or they feel ashamed or they feel nobody will care. And you have to get it off your chest again, a whole other video, but write it down as small. I mean, you can write a book here. I mean, I can write books in days, you know what I mean? In a day of how things have been affecting me. So you get the gist of it. So now let's turn this negative into something positive. Let's turn it into something pretty. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do pretty basic. Um, I think though, I'm going to use, uh, regular paint, not the satin. Well, let me see. Moving all my stuff. All right. So I'm going to go yellow and orange and let's see what else. I'm just picking some colors just to start and then we'll go from there. So I like to do light to dark as always, but you don't have to. And I'm just going to put, this is how we're going to do. And I'm going to turn this into a positive thing for myself. And I'm going to put these two, this is a uh, hands of light yellow and hands of light medium. That was medium. This is going to be light. Uh-huh. If it comes out and I'm just putting a few. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take my brush Take off some of that water, not all the water, and we're going to start our base. And you see how we're covering it now? Again, being, you know, being a uh, nature goddess, Wiccan freak that I am, I like to light a candle sometimes while I do this. A nice fragrance of a candle, incense, whatever you have. If you want to do something like this, you don't have to, and you don't have to believe in anything. If you have your favorite candle or a favorite perfume or body spray, do that. Spray that around something that you'll have, you know, a little bit of positive. I call it positive reinforcement, a little, you know, positivity, the smell, the, you know, essential oil, whatever you like. Now you want to make sure these are mostly dry in between because you kind of want the, you want the um, different colors. You don't necessarily want them to blend. And, you know, a lot of colors, if you don't dry, they'll turn to brown and black and gray. They'll just mix together and make a, you know, a fachaded uh, color background. And we, we don't want that. Now, you can see... You can see here that I had other colors on here, some blue, some purple. You can see that they were dry before um, I did this because you can still see them come through. Of course, colors are going to mute, you know, some other colors, but you see what I'm saying. You want those to kind of come through. Now, if I was more organized right now, which I'm not, let me see here. I'm going to use, I'm going to show you. Okay. This is a piece of cardboard. Now you can use your old credit cards, your old Mac cards, your old gift cards and all that. If I was more organized and had my room empty, I'd be using that. But I'm gonna do little paintings on there. So any color that gets on here is only gonna become a background. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some of my orange and I'm just gonna put it in different places. All right, in different places. Okay, a little bit there. Shake them up. I haven't used these in a while, so. Okay. And like I said, if you have your library, old library cards, gift cards, whatever, what you're going to do is you're going to go in. And I'm using this because you see I'm not worrying because I'm going to do a background on here anyway at some other point. And you can see we're art journaling. And what we're doing is we're taking that bad stuff we wrote down, that negative stuff. You can also turn your page or art journal or whatever and go this way if you want. Now this is drawing fairly quick, which I'm happy about. So I'm gonna turn it like that. I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun, hair dryer. Remember I always tell you guys, go to the thrift store or Goodwill. They always have hair dryers there. Those work great. You only need a heat gun if you're gonna emboss. Um, and if you don't have it, it's no big deal. Just leave it sit for five minutes before you go on. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put these away because I'm not going to use these colors anymore. And I'm going to pick blue and a green. And you can pick as many blues or greens as you want. Doesn't matter. We have those. 
And what about a green, Kelly? Okay, so we'll do with this and then I'll do with that bright blue. So let's do blues first. This is cobalt teal hue. And these are in the uh, DecoArt Media fluid acrylics. They are wonderful. I have a lot of um, golden fluid acrylics, which I love. Um, and I, I don't use them much because I want to save them for when I do painting. So you might see me, if I do any canvases on video, use them. But for now, I love these. So I'm just going to put a little bit. You don't want too much because we don't want to cover too much. Or if you do, maybe you do. Maybe you want to cover a lot. Go ahead. <coughs> do you, baby. And um, I'm just putting a little bit down. And I'm going to take my, again, and I'm going to use this end now that's clean, but you use whatever you want. And look how we do. And then I'll turn this a little sooner than the last one. And I'm just going to, and you can see there's texture on here where it's spreading it different than one down here because this is corrugated and it has some of that on there. Okay, and you can see the more we put on here, the more it clean, you know, hides it. So let's do some greens. This is yellow green light. And I'm going to put a little bit down here, a little bit there, and some blue green light. Shake it and shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, that medicine's making me loopy. Okay, but it ain't going to stop me. I'm going to keep on keeping on. All right, and then we'll go to another part. Now, you're going to get paint on your hands as you switch it. If you don't like it and you don't want paint on your hands, just do it over the part you did. And you see how I'm just... And this side, you get a different thing, too. I'm going to turn it that way. I'm going to then turn it this way again. Smear it down. Scrape it down. And do you see this delicious background that we're getting? And you can see, you can barely see anything through it. Now, here's where you will, lay that right there. I'm going to dry it, but what you're going to do is, you're going to look at it now. I can barely see any writing underneath, let alone what it says. So I'm pretty happy with this. If you go and, let's say, well, let me dry this and then I'll show you. Okay. If you go and you look, like I can see, let me put this up a little closer to you guys. You can see a little bit of the pencil underneath, like up here. Now, if that bothers you, maybe it bothers you. I'll know. But go in and take a little color. Maybe I'll take, maybe I want a splash of um, flamingo pink. Just a little pink in here, nothing major. So I'm just going to do a small, like that. And maybe I'll do, maybe I see a little bit here. Just the littlest bit. Or the, I mean, look, it's yours. You do whatever the heck you want. You want a lot? Do a lot. You want a little? You do a little. And I'll show you. I'll just use the same side that I was using. And you see how that just adds? And then you can kind of go like that if you want it. And then that kind of covers up if you see a little bit and it's bothering you. It depends on how OCD you are about things. I am pretty happy with this. I don't care if I could see a little bit on the bottom, but you can see the pink added to it a little bit, and I love it. Now, when I'm doing mixed media, which this is, you know, we're doing art journaling, but when I do mixed media, this becomes a background for me. And then I throw white on top of it, and I throw, or black, or whatever, and I keep building. But you can see we have a lot of, a lot of layers on here. Uh, we have our pencil layer. We have our yellow layer. We have both of our oranges, both of our reds, both of our blues, both of our greens, a little bit of pink. Those are all layers. And look how gorgeous this is. So this is a great, we just did a great background. That makes me happy. Now, something fun. Let's do something a little fun. That's a little, you know, a little something else. So I'm going to take some white acrylic paint. Now you can use watercolor or whatever you have. I'm going to shake this up for a minute. I'm gonna throw that down there. Let me see if I can turn this, yeah, there we go. So you can kind of see. 
And I'm going to take my brush again. I'm going to leave it wet. And I'm going to, you can see I need new fresh water because it's a little dirty. But see what I'm doing? I'm just adding water. If you want a little bit more. If I could find my spray bottle, I'd be spraying it. But we're good there. So I'm just loading up this brush both sides. And then I'm going to take my hand like this. And look at that. It goes all over the place. But hey, we're doing art. And then you can move it up like this. A little bit more. You see what we're adding? And it's just adding a little bit of something. Lighten it up a little bit. And that becomes another layer. So you can see, obviously, why my thing is so full of, of paint and all. Now I'm going to... I have a painting that I started here that I wasn't... I was figuring stuff out. And uh, I want her to be a background. I mean, a gray, and I want this to be all this, but I'm not digging on this, but I don't want to waste. It's a nice piece of uh, watercolor paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this for a second. And who knows, maybe I'll use this as journal, you know, as a journal page as well. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it in half. And you do this too. You could do this with your canvases. You could do this with your uh, mixed media paper, with your printer paper, with your watercolor paper, whatever you got. I'm going to just turn this this way for a second so you guys can see. And I'm just going to lay this, smush it around. And look, I'm just going to cover up. That's going to add some color on this side. And look how cool that looks. And I'm just going to squirt it around. And look. See, I'm not wasting it. I'm just using it as a faux gesso. So I get some texture there and I'm using, you know, <clears throat> this other side. So now I don't have to use gesso. I'm just adding some more and you can go and, you know, you can dry it and then use it. But look, you get all that. So you're not wasting. I don't like to waste if I don't have to. I mean, sometimes, you know, I'll be doing videos and I'll just clean it up. It depends on what I'm doing. But now I have these and I can open it up again and let it dry. No problem. And then I can take my paper towels or if you have art rags, I got to find all my art rags. Okay. And then I will just go and now a little tip for you. If you don't like getting paint everywhere, or if you're working in your kitchen, dining room, living room, bed, wherever you're at, get an old box, get a, uh, <clears throat> like an Amazon box, shipping box, plastic container, whatever you have, and use that, put your paint in there, your painting in there, rather, your journal page or whatever, set it in the box, and then you can do that so all the mess stays in the box. Totally up to you, uh, but you get what I'm saying. So, as of right now, all we've used is paint. And look at this delicious background. And we're turning our negative into a positive. So I'm going to just dry this. As I hold that close, it kind of pushes things out. And I like that kind of look. So one of my favorite markers is the pit pens and they are from um, Faber Castell. They're the bigger uh, markers and I love them. They write all over this, but Sharpies work just as good and you can get Sharpies in all kinds of colors as well. Let me see if I have my Sharpie sitting here because, oh gosh, I wish I could breathe. Oh, let's see. Oh, drop my tape. I don't think I have my Sharpie sitting here. They must be on the other side. Let's see. Here's one. Let's see if this bad boy works. So because Sharpies, if you don't know, they are alcohol inks. Uh, so they're alcohol markers as well as Bic. Um, so you can use those as well. If you don't, just use your black paint. 
use a pen, use all that. So let's write something, you know, I don't know, something on here that maybe we, uh, is positive to us and that we love. We're just doing very quick journaling, um, to counteract the negative and the negativity that we wrote. Um, let me think. Hmm. I don't know. What would be something good to write? I like doing affirmations, so I think what we'll do, and I'm not going to do a stencil. This is a very basic, 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 as you can see. It is paint, um, which is very inexpensive to get and very uh, easy to use. But you can see beautiful, beautiful background. Um, I'm going to go through with magazines, and we're going to do all that, too, coming up, uh, like collaging and that kind of stuff on our art journal pages. But for now, we're just doing very basic what you have at home. Um how about, I'm just going to wing it. I I am, I know my M is off there a little bit. I'm okay with that. I am worthy. I am beautiful. I am, oh, let's do okay. Because all that negativity we wrote and all that crap, let's just let ourselves know, our affirmations of ourselves, that I am okay. But you can write your favorite quote, your favorite Bible verse, your favorite, favorite uh, song, lyric, whatever you want. But I'm just doing bubble letters, just, you know, so I'm not on here for hours. I am okay. Now, here's where fun comes in. You want to color these in all black? Go ahead. You want to color them in a different color? Go ahead. You want to leave them like this? Go ahead. I like to sometimes doodle. And you can see this was just a Sharpie. You can get it at the dollar store. Um, but let's, let's just doodle a little bit. Let's add a little bit of doodling just to add some interest to it. Maybe you, you know, this is meditation. My crocheting lately and knitting has been meditation. I got my mother-in-law, Emily taught my mother-in-law how to um, knit, even though she's a crocheter. Took a minute, but she got it. Um, so you see what I'm saying? We're just kind of, nothing has to be on point. It's about having fun. It's about putting that energy into this. And look, you're already adding. Now, if you're really into the coloring books that they are selling now for adults, but you can't afford it or you don't have any, you just made your own. Now you can sit with, you can use your watercolor uh, markers or watercolor crayons or watercolor uh, paints or your acrylic paints or your markers, whatever you have, whatever kind, start painting them in, right? So here... Maybe I'll just do different circles, different angles and see how that becomes. And then you just go, you just pick. Maybe you think you're not good at doodling. Maybe you've not doodled. This stuff makes me meditate, it helps me meditate and get my brain because my brain never stops. And this, for whatever reason, helps it stop. So I'm just adding circles and half circles. Okay, you see what I'm saying? And we got that filled. Now, if you look at it and you're like, oh, I lost my M, go in and just make it darker. See what I'm saying? You know what that says. That's, the, that's what you're doing this for. This is for your journal. Now, let me see, I have, I'll show you color and just very briefly, um, I'll take some green and I'll go in and color that in, color a few things in. If my marker worked better, it would be better. But you see, you just kind of go in and color them and they look, they'll look beautiful and colorful. I'll just do these lines up here. Like I said, you don't even have to, but it just gives you something else to focus your positive attention and energy on, which is what it's all about, isn't it? 
Okay, so yeah, I get the point. A lot of fun, you know, and then what I suggest to do, and you don't have to, but you can put the date down here, 11, 8, 15, right? You put your date down there. So when you go back in your journal, and we're going to get into making our own journal in different ways. I've done a million videos on this, but I got a lot of new people and a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new people who are new to mixed media and art journaling, and they ask me all the time. So I'm going to do it. And I figure if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. If I help one person, I'm happy. So that's my goal here. Um, so then we will go and we will learn different ways to make your own journals from very cheap recyclable to, you know, how to put together papers and, uh, you know, sew them together. But you can, you get the gist and then you mark it. So when you go through your journal again, you can see the date and you can remember, you know. Now, here's the good thing. If you want to continue on on this, you can take your marker, uh -oh, marker Cal. take your marker and let's do this. And we can journal. So you can put today I am happy. Okay, today, blah, 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 blah. And then you can write something that good that happened today. Again, being grateful, being positive, counteract the negativity that you wrote. And you can use this journaling too, or you could just leave it as I am okay. So that is that for this. You could see this is very, very basic, just using paints and a marker. Um, and you can you know, if you can color this. I've done videos where I use just markers for backgrounds and color pencils for backgrounds. So that's all on there too. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this. Give me a thumbs up if you're uh, liking the art journaling for beginner, beginner, beginners. Um, I have mixed media. I have more mixed media for beginners coming up. I have a lot uh, going on, a lot coming up. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting, but what I'm trying to show you here is be kind to yourself. Use this to help you out because we all have our days. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your love and support. Um, I just love you guys. You guys are the best. So I will see you in the next video. I hope you're enjoying this and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.